Hello, Sam Brooks from Tool Hut here today. We are going to be going through the process of setting up JLR SDD software to use with your J2534 interface. Please pay attention. Please feel free to pause the video at any time. And you can always ask questions. I try to respond the best I can. So if you have questions, feel free to leave a, leave a question. This is a process that I have not done a lot of times, so bear with me. I probably am making some mistakes, but I have used it. It does work, and if somebody's got a better way, I would welcome your suggestions in the comments. Okay, so let's start off with a few things you're going to need. The first thing you need is a J2534 interface. In my experience, just about every J2534 interface works, as long as it's 4.04. The next thing you're going to need is a laptop that meets the JLR specifications. This is a big one. We'll go through the back, the laptop specs in a moment. You're going to need a quality battery maintainer, not a battery charger. We need You need something that's going to hold the battery at a voltage of approximately 13.5 volts. If at any time during the process the, the vehicle falls below 12.5 volts, the process will stop, and my experience is it, you will lock up modules. The next one you're going to think may be funny. You're going to need some time and some patience, but once you start the process, you'll understand. You need some time and some patience. You will also want to download this and install it prior to working on the vehicle. You do not need a subscription to do this part of the process. Okay, first things first. If you don't have or haven't done it already, go to DrewTech.com and download their J2534 toolbox. My suggestion is you get it for the Kardec M, even if you don't own the device. You can open up the J2534 toolbox using the Kardec M with just about any four-digit serial number. So I always use 2222 just for example. So we need to go through the PC specs for the JLR. First of all, notice that JLR does not work well if you already have Ford or Mazda or Honda on your laptop. So if you have those, you're going to need a different laptop. I suggest a different laptop anyway. These are not minimum specs. These are required specs. My suggestion is that you go to a used computer store and buy a pretty decent laptop. Understand it has to be Windows 7 32-bit and Internet Explorer 8 are the biggest problems. Nobody wants to put Internet Explorer 8 on it for you and then you cannot do any Windows updates from here or it will not work. So get yourself a used laptop, dedicate it for JLR if you plan on doing it and make sure it meets these specs. Okay, first thing you need to do is go to JLR's download site. I will leave a link to this in the description. This was taped on November 15th, 2017, so the process may change. If you have not installed SDD yet, the first thing you need to do is the bottom selection is SDD full. And then any updates, the 01, the 02, the 03, and the 04, all need to be installed separately. You can download them all at once, but run them separately. The computer does need to be rebooted between installations, so you'll get lots of practice rebooting the computer. And then the Panasonic script setup and the pop-up disable should also be installed. This is just to get the software on your laptop. We will go through the process of signing up at the Topics website now. Once you get to the Topics site, you need to register. This is basic name, address, phone number type stuff. The biggest thing you're going to need is your username and password. You'll need it every time you go to use the tool. Uh, so obviously make it something that's easy to remember. There is some minimum specs on the password. I believe it's 12 digits, one number in one letter, one capital, stuff like that. So another good place to start 
is NASTF.org. This is a good place for any kind of programming information, OE information, website that you're looking for. There's lots of good information. Also, if you want to register for an LSID, this is the site you're going to go to. So once you're at the NASTEF.org site, we're going to go to reprogramming information, go to Land Rover. Like I said, you can use any manufacturer you're looking for here. This is a direct link to Land Rover Jaguar's site. And in the previous step, we did register. So you're going to use your username and password to log in here. This will be the username and password you set up. Once you're logged in, you're going to go up to where you see your name up there, and you get hit Options. Then the programming subscriptions are on the right. Understand the document subscriptions are on the left. Do not make the mistake of buying the document subscription when you want a programming subscription. There's the indi individual module programming. Different terms are different prices, obviously. If you don't do it a lot, it's eighty four dollars for one day a week and then if you do a lot of them the year is probably the best bargain the trust center is your nstf uh, lsid number if you've registered i just skip it then it's going to take you to a process of paying for the subscription and you put in your credit card information and give them your money pretty easy from here Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel if you want to see some more programming information and get notifications. Make sure you ring the bell. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down on the video. Have a good day.